Thank you. I first, can I put some I first like to thank Alicia and Chris for giving me this opportunity to say a few words. Um, it's going to be a great night. That's one thing I know. Uh, Alicia, you look you look great today. You look beautiful. Um, and yeah, so I'll start with that. Get the crowd going a little bit. I also like to thank Mr. and Mrs. Safran and my parents as well for, for having us tonight and hosting this, this wonderful evening. Um, okay, you just calm it down. <laughs> so let me start off by wishing my new brother in law, Chris, a happy birthday. I don't know if everyone here knows it's Chris's birthday today. Cheers, happy birthday. Hard to forget the anniversary. All right. So I start thinking about this speech and, you know, try to go, you know, how do I go? Do you go funny? Do you go serious, emotional? You know, I, I, I don't know. And then I'm like, you know, I got I to gotta play to my strength. All right. So what's my strength? What am I most comfortable with? Class clown. Class clown. Okay. <laughs> yeah, hecklers. All right. <laughs> So, considering how patient and level-headed Chris has been throughout the whole wedding planning process, uh, I wanted to say a few words that I thought would help him um, out throughout his marriage. And I know growing up, I have some wisdom that I've gathered living with Alicia, um, and I'd like to share some of that. Now, let's backtrack a little bit. Part of my responsibility at, uh, where I work is to create scouting reports on opposing teams, including um, analyzing any tendencies, going over strengths and weaknesses. Um, well, Chris, I've collected the data that I've analyzed from her friends and family, and I put, to go, put together my own scouting report on Alicia for you, including her strengths, weaknesses, and any recommendations I may have. So let's start with the strengths. Alicia is extremely loyal. She's she's very she's a very loyal girl. Um, always as a brother, you know, or as as my sister, she's been loyal to me, loyal to my family. She was even cut by my mother in elementary school from the volleyball team, and they remain close to this day. Now, some of you might be wondering, how could you cut your daughter from a team? I'm more concerned about who's hiring the coaches at St. Eugene School. <laughs> her second, one of her, another strength of hers is she has a big heart. Uh, Alicia's always there for friends and family. I know Chris already knows this. So do those that are close to her. Um, I've always respected this quality about her, and uh, she's helped me throughout the years more than she'll know. So I'm very. Uh, Appreciative of that. Uh, the third one for her strengths is she's mentally tough. Mental toughness. Um, this is the case. And now, understand something. Mental toughness can be sometimes confused with stubborn. Uh, so you, there's a, you have to differentiate. Um, it's been very impressive, though, to see how unfazed Alicia can be. You know, whether it's dealing with weather, dealing with, you know, other extenuating circumstances. Um, you know, she, I think she does a great job of keeping a level head. Um, she learned early on in life that life isn't fair. Uh, growing up, Alicia always wanted to play wiffle ball in the backyard with me and my friends. And I know there's a few in here that either played or participated or heard about it, whatever it was. Um, and typically, these highly competitive games couldn't afford to have a third party affect the outcome. It was very, very intense. I, I, I got you. Um, so we made a deal. She, she said, if I make a snack for you guys, can I play? And we all, you know, of course, yeah, yeah, you can play. So out she comes with this, you know, plate of crackers, cheese, and sliced pickles, and it's phenomenal. Or, you know, we really, it was delicious. But then, so what would happen was the pickle juice would go into the cheese. So we would bang her on a technicality that she couldn't play because 
of the pickle juice going into the cheese. Alicia, this made you stronger. <laughs> so weaknesses, what are some weaknesses? Well, I got some good feedback from, from some close friends. Apparently she's a bit of a control freak. <laughs> Anyone who experienced the pre-wedding process can attest to this. That being said, she does it because she cares. Good luck, Chris. The second weakness of Alicia, meat. It's her kryptonite. Grandma's still not happy about it. And finally, a weakness of hers, Goldschlager. Goldschlager. Alicia had a rough night in university when she was at Brock. The Oh, the, um, the family decided to come down and visit me in, in New York the next day, and Alicia wasn't feeling too well. She had, uh, uh, you know, the, the brown bag all the way down and all that kind of stuff, but um, you know what? You know why we're here, Alicia? We're here to overcome your fears. So right now, Mr. Jim Logan is handing out the wedding party, shots of Goldschlager. We're going to help Alicia overcome her fears. What's it smell like? Go ahead. Mental toughness. Well, when everyone gets one, you're going to take a shot. I'm sure the wedding party is very appreciative. Lou gets one. Alicia, here's to overcoming any fears you may have. Start fresh. Let's get it done. Salud. 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 Yeah, get the facial right? Get it. Get it. All right. All right. So now recommendations. I'm almost done. Recommendations for Chris. Listen carefully. You probably know most of these. Number one, load up on gift cards to the drive-in. Should you need some alone time, a solid triple feature should give you the breathing room necessary to make this a successful marriage. Thank you. This second one's for everyone, not just Chris, but I know it works. Trust me. It's better to ask for forgiveness than permission. Think about it. All right, and the third one, Chris, is continue to do whatever you're doing. I've never seen my sister this happy. I hope this information was helpful to you. And uh, I just want to say how excited and proud I am to have you as a brother-in-law and uh, support you guys any way I can. And... Uh, you guys mean a lot to me, so I really, uh, I'm glad to be a part of this. Um, so here's to health and happiness, many years. Hello. Cheers. Let's get this party going.